Hi guys, this will be my final video on my fitness improvement journey. This video will summarize all the important tips from my previous 3 videos and how they may potentially help you in your own fitness journey. My first tip to you is, there is no good day or time to start. Neither do you need extensive equipment to get started. Just start something now. I hope from watching my video, I can show you how immediate action and some simple planning can work wonders for you. Before that, a great thank you to our viewers and subscribers for their support and encouragement. If you like our videos, please continue to share, like and comment. Your suggestions are very valuable to us as well. With that, let me share my results and findings with you. This is probably the trickiest of all in my fitness journey, to keep off all processed carbs. It is a mental test more than a physical one. To make it real simple, I use this picture as my guide. I simply keep off all food that comes from the last column. Ironically, this category of food is also the most I have been eating and most easily available whenever I'm out having meals. It takes some self-control and a re-look at basic nutrition for your body. Conventional Asian dishes that include staples like white rice, Yellow noodles and bread are too common and widely accepted as the source of preventing hunger. I need to remind myself that staying full and staying nourished may not always mean the same thing. As a rule of thumb, you can avoid these three major groups and that pretty much cover almost everything. If it looks like it was made in a factory, don't eat it.
When it comes to lifting weights, I was never a fan, but this is probably the game changer of my fitness journey. I would recommend resistant training to anybody who is looking to lose weight and burn more calories. Resistant training is all about building and strengthening muscles. So we can broadly group our muscles into five groups, namely the chest, back, arm and shoulder, abdominal, leg and buttocks. Here are some recommended exercises for each muscle group. I have clips at the back on how to execute these exercises. Each exercise is meant to isolate and target a specific muscle group, so to make your workout more efficient. You never want to spend hours in the gym and realize you are not getting the desired results. If you have any questions on exercises, drop me a message or comment and I will provide a demo to the best I can. These rules are the only reasons for your resistance training to succeed or fail. Firstly, lift very heavy and slightly more than you can. If your face turns red like mine after the first set of 8 to 12 reps, that is the weight you should start lifting from. Go for a 4th or 5th set if you can but complete a minimum of 3 sets. Increase the weight gradually over time without compromising on your form and technique. This is crucial as your body can only increase muscle mass and strength when you increase your resistance. With an increased muscle mass, you increase your metabolic rate and burn more calories. Once you get used to the exercises, you can pick up some speed in your reps but never compromise on your form. Also, reduce the rest time between sets by 3 to 5 seconds gradually and be sure to listen to how your body is responding as well. Everything takes time. You cannot climb Mount Everest in one day, so don't expect your body to get all the power and strength without gradual conditioning. The aim here is to increase the intensity and ultimately save more gym time. Always fail in completing your sets. The indicator is, if you can finish all your sets, then you are not lifting heavy enough. The key here is to constantly push your body out of its comfort zone. Once you get more comfortable with the exercises and increase intensity, start combining your exercises and movements into hybrids for more difficulty and a more efficient workout.